Welcome back to another Fun Fact Friday, you guys, where I answer all of your frequently asked questions about my favorite kitchen tools and my favorite um, tools that I use around the house. And today, you know, I had a few things on my list, but I have been asked so often now about the KitchenAid attachment for the scale and the sifter that I figured I would go ahead and share that with you today because it's new to me pretty new i got it for christmas so i've had it for a month um about a month a little little less than a month and i am absolutely loving it um it has quickly become one of my favorite kitchen tools just because i do bake a lot of bread um i also bake a lot of desserts for my kids and um this has <laughs> this has become um, a handy dandy tool. So um, I'm going to share with you the KitchenAid a Scale and Sifter. There's not a whole lot of uh, videos on it out there other than um, some of the KitchenAid uh, made ones. So I figured I would share it with you guys today. I am absolutely loving it. So you're not going to have to look at this. Uh, I'm going to spin you around and uh, show you my scale and sifter. Right, so here is the instruction booklet. It's very short, simple, to the point. What I do love about it is that it does offer a, um, a conversion chart for weight. I liked this so much. I went ahead, I printed out a copy, I laminated it, and I hung it inside of my kitchen cabinet so that I have it every time I make a recipe. But it's pretty simple and to the point. So I am gonna go ahead and show this to you. So this is it. I pretty much keep it permanently attached to my, um, to my mixer now because I use it every single time I make anything. Um, the only time I would take this off is if I was mixing like a meatloaf or something like that. Uh, but this is the on button here. Okay, and the lid is on. So this is the tear button in the center. So that's how you bring it back to zero. And then over here is where you can uh, change it from pounds to ounces to grams. So depending on how you're um, weighing, um, that is how you would change that. It's really simple and to the point. Um, it has a lid. Okay, and then inside there, uh, this is kind of your holding uh, container here. I believe it holds four cups. Uh, there is a little, there's a little turn knob right here. So you would turn that and it um, goes ahead and it drops the flour down into the sifter. This is a really easy to take apart. This literally just lifts right off like that. There is the sifter. Um, it is metal on metal, which is really, really nice. And um, you don't have to sift everything. So if you're wanting to just use the, um, the scale, but you don't necessarily want to sift, it, this is easy enough to pop out as well. So all you do is you lift the scale off of here. There's the sifter there. And then you've got a little, um, a little push back button right there. So you just push that back. And I'm doing this all with one hand and there's your sifter right there. So you can pop this out, put your scale back on, and you can completely use that without having to sift anything. So it all depends, you know, if you're, if you're using something thick, thicker that you don't necessarily wanna sift, you don't have to use that. What's also really nice about this scale is that you can take the scale part off and the top lays right on top and now you've got a kitchen scale so you can go ahead and tear that so if you wanted to weigh things and use this as a kitchen scale you can absolutely do that um, you can tear it out you can do all of your uh, sourdough that way it's fantastic so there is that so you can use this as a regular kitchen scale and um, keep it, you know, off, off in the corner instead of needing one of these. So um, that's it, you guys. So I'm going to pop the sifter back in. Okay, it's really easy to detach. By the way, you're just going to unscrew it here with your knob, and then it just pulls right off of the machine. It does have this little ramp here where your flour will come off. I will show you that when I put this down and I can kind of use both hands, but um, super easy to wash and clean up. 
and it just pops back on like that. Go ahead and screw it on. The sifter works at all speeds, so you don't have to um, go slow with it. it. You use it however you need it for your recipe. This is going to be tricky for me because I'm so short. I can't see. <laughs> there we go. So there's the sifter. And then um, we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to shut off the scale for a minute. And you'll see it's got um, little teeth right there camera will focus so it's got little teeth right there so it just slides and clicks together and then your little container goes on top of that and then and then the lid and it's that easy so um, this chute here uh, slides in and slides out so depending on what mixer you're using a mixer like mine I have the ProLine 7 so it's a big seven quart machine um, I need this brought down a little bit, but if you're using, you know, a smaller KitchenAid, if you're using an Artisan, if you're using maybe one of the minis and you don't need it all the way down, you can go ahead and tuck that back in. This does rotate all the way around. So say you are creaming your butter and sugar inside your bowl and you don't necessarily want your dry ingredients inside the bowl yet, you can go ahead and put a secondary bowl right here and sift your all of your ingredients together your baking soda your baking powder your salt uh, your cocoa powder your cinnamon whatever you're using and you can sift it right into a secondary bowl here if you wanted to um, and then you could of course add from the bowl add from your bowl into the bigger bowl just using um, you know I've got a, a shield here you can just feed it into the shield like that but this is how I do it I aim the little um, a little slide right there into my shield and um, it's perfect it's fantastic I love this thing and it has made such a difference in my baking in my bread in my cookies my chocolate chip cookies my banana bread um, it has just it's been amazing so I didn't realize how important sifting actually was until I actually started doing it. Um, I used to have one of those little hand sifters, but with my arthritis in my hands, I just can't do it. It just hurts too much and it flares me. So um, it has been so nice to be able to just do it all on this machine. So let me go and grab a cup of flour. All right, so I have a cup of flour right here. So all you're gonna do is pop open the top, Okay, this is closed, so my flour is going to go right inside, and then I'm going to be able to weigh it. So if that was important to me, um, and I needed a certain amount, I'm able to weigh it before it goes down into the into the sifter and into my mixing bowl. So that's what this is for. This keeps it nice and closed for me so that I can get the amounts right. So say I only wanted 50 in here, and I didn't want 78, I could remove some get it to my 50 and then bam, I'm, I can now go ahead and add this to my bowl. We're gonna go ahead and turn it on. Now the way you turn it on is you're just gonna turn on your mixer. So now you're gonna hear, kinda sounds like a bad windshield wiper, but that's essentially what it is. That is your metal on metal sifter. So I don't mind the noise because I know it's working. I know it's doing exactly what I'm gonna need it to do. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just turn the knob and we're gonna open the hat. It's now showing zero grams. So it's letting me know that everything is getting sifted and everything has gone down and inside from the scale. And now you just gotta wait for it to finish sifting through the sifter. And again, if you need this on a higher speed, it's just gonna sift a little faster for you. But honestly, most of the things that I make, I don't go above a, a speed two on, so. And then that's it. So it's letting me know that everything is in there. Um, you can kind of tap this if you have anything left in there. Um, but that is it. So we're gonna remove our shield here. And you're gonna see inside there, you're gonna have beautifully sifted flour. It's fantastic. So um, it's not 
a cheap piece of equipment. This runs $100 and or so right around there. So I will leave you guys a link to this down below so it's easy for you to find. Of course, you can buy this many places. I actually just saw this at Meyer when I was at Meyer, and they had it actually down the canning section with the, all the other KitchenAid products. So um, yeah, uh, it's available in, in many different places. So um, I would say, and this is just my opinion, if you don't bake a whole lot, this probably isn't going to serve you well. However, if you are a mom who bakes her own bread, like I do, if you are a baker, um, if you do cookies, cakes, breads, anything like that, and you're using your mixer several times a week like I am, this might be worth the investment for you. I am finding I am absolutely loving it. I love the results that I am getting from it. I am so happy that I finally got it. It has been on my wish list, you guys, for probably two years when it first came out. Um, and um, I just, it was one of those things I didn't know if it was more of a, a want or a need, but I'm telling you, if you bake a lot like I do, it's probably more of a need. I think you will really, really like it, especially if you are now measuring your ingredients, which I'm just now starting to really get into. So um, I hope this, was helpful, this share. <laughs> if you have any questions, leave them down below. I will try my best to answer them for you. Um, but I am loving this product, and if you have it, let me know down below. Let other people know if you have it and you love it. And if you go ahead and get it, make sure you come back and let me know how you like it. So um, I do know that it has a one year a warranty on it. So if anything happens to it, uh, they will replace it for you. So um, that's, you know, I love KitchenAid. I'm a KitchenAid girl. I've never had a problem with KitchenAid. Anytime that I've had a problem with my mixer or um, any other thing that I might have of KitchenAid, they have been wonderful. I've been to the KitchenAid uh, store in Ohio, um, just, you know, as a customer. <laughs> and um, they were so nice and so helpful there. I just... I've had nothing but fantastic experiences with KitchenAid. I know some people haven't been that lucky, um, but I have, and I will continue to purchase their products because I think they are superior, and I really, really enjoy them in my kitchen. So I am not a paid sponsorship for KitchenAid, <laughs> okay? This is just my opinion as one mom you know, to you guys. So I hope this was helpful. Again, if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them down below. Um, and I will be seeing you guys next Friday for another Fun Fact Friday where I'm gonna share another one of my favorite products with you guys. And uh, so I will see you um, next week. All right, bye guys.